While temperatures here in the Northeast drop again into the 30s and spring still seems out of reach, I thought we could have a visit with one of my favorite moths from last summer, the small-eyed sphinx. This diminutive beauty has colors that are hard to describe and convey with words. It is colored with such a varied palette of browns, golds, and deep purples, incredibly beautiful and at the same time disguising itself more like a leaf in the way it holds its body at rest. Males typically have more slender bodies than females and like to hold their abdomens curved upward. Males are much more common to find at lights during the late evening as they are out searching for females while the females tend to stay put and wait for the males to arrive. In this species, the hind wing is actually visible in front of the forewing, giving it that cloak wearing appearance or as if he is sporting rather broad shoulders. It is one giveaway at identifying this particular species. And if you haven't already guessed, this specific one is a male. The females will typically lay eggs on birch trees, poplars, hawthorns, and willow trees, as they are among the moth's favorites, and as such are also a good place to locate caterpillars. Similar to the giant silk moths, this moth also does not feed in the adult stage, so it has just a short time left to be on the wing and secure the next season's generation. So there will be many species to watch for this spring as I am currently caring for a ton of pupae and awaiting their emergence when we finally have some consistently warm weather, most notably the incredible Spanish moon moth. So please stay tuned for more to come.